Hey there, want to develop a winning mindset? Got 10 minutes? Join Megan Riley and April Sprintz on 10 Minutes to Win. All right, you're in the serious outfit. You didn't really do the dance this time, but so glad you're here. Welcome everybody to 10 Minutes to Win. And thank you for joining me and my co-host, Megan Riley. She is the COO of Tippy Toes, a great speaker. And she's also the host of a podcast called Who's Your Mama? And we will put a link so you guys can go listen to that down in the comments. What's, What's up? up? I'm so happy, happy to be here. here. I, sound I sound a little different, different but, I'm but I'm still, still excited, excited to be here, here as, of course, course how could I not be? be? Because, because I'm, 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 I'm the one and only April Schwartz, the creator and founder of Driven Outcomes. I'm also the author of one of my favorite books. If you guys haven't gotten this, it's the easiest, most interesting, helpful, powerful book. Get it? Megan, we have got to get you hosting infomercials because literally it's so natural. It's so awesome. <laughs> I'm down. I can do it. This is an easy thing. This thing sells itself. Truly, Truly, it's, it's my, my favorite, favorite thing. And, and you are my, my, my coach, coach for mindset. mindset. And, and so, so to, to do, do these mindset, mindset this um, 10, 10 minutes to win, win all focus on mindset is a gift, gift to me because, because I continually I learn from you about mindset. mindset and I love, I love today's, today's topic. topic. Reframes, so they're the best. Okay, wait, so we, we always start. promise we're going to do wins <laughs> of the day for everyone because we want them to do it every day. So what are your wins of the day? My wins of the day. And you know what I've started to do is write them down. Like, like a gratitude, gratitude journal in a way, way you know, you but know, it's but just it's another, another way for me to process what the wins. wins. So, so my, my wins, wins from yesterday, yesterday, we had an amazing Tippy Toes franchise owner meeting. meeting. Just felt really good. good. New things rolling out. That was awesome. awesome. Um, um, my, my youngest daughter, daughter is five, five helped, helped me with, with dinner. dinner. It's just it's fun. You know, she was making fruit salad and things like that. And, um, and then yesterday was one of those work days where I just executed a lot of things. And at the end of the day, I told my husband, I'm like, that just, just felt, felt, felt great. great. So, so uh, yeah. yeah. What about you? What were your what wins? wins? So good. Okay. So all my wins have to do with travel, actually, because it's funny. I had to move a flight and go later than I had planned to, but then I got aligned, which eventually we're going to use that as a, we're going to have that as a topic. Because the more you work on your mindset, the more aligned you get. And I had all these travel wins. I had the front row parking space at the airport. Then I get on my flight, I land in my terminal in Atlanta, and I'm actually here in Atlanta doing some business. And literally, I'm, I fly into a terminal I never fly into. West Palm does not go to that terminal, but it's the closest terminal to the rental cars and everything I need to do. So it saves me like 20 minutes. Then I go to the rental car place. Everyone has about an hour, hour and a half line looking at it, except for oddly, my rental car place, there is no line. So I get through there super fast that I get to my hotel. My room is not ready. And I'm like, hey, I'm here. This is the last place I got to go today. No problem. And she's like, wow, you're being so nice. I'm just going to upgrade your room. So I've got a golf no course view. Way. Like it's just my wins were just like bam, bam, bam. And the more I have worked on my mindset, the more often I can have days like that, which I love, which is why today we are talking about reframes because that's how you get there. Yeah. yeah, it's so it's good. Those, good. Are, those perfect are perfect examples. examples. And, and when you, when you start, start to see it, it you start to see those, those the wins, wins, even when it when feels it like, like a lot of times somebody, somebody might, might feel like, feel like it's, it's a bad situation. situation. Like all, all those things you mentioned, you'd be like, like oh. oh, but, but everything, everything, everything can be reframed. And that's something that you and I have talked a lot about. And you are the master getting ready for this call today. I texted you and I was like, I have no voice. And you and said, said, that's okay, okay I'm, I'm traveling. traveling. We, are, we are, committed. are committed. And I was like, <laughs> here she is. <laughs> right, I'm in the dark in a hotel room. <laughs> and, I and I can't, can't talk. talk. I sound, I sound like, like, I don't know. I, don't know. I actually think you sound like. adorable. And in my mind, this is Tippy the Turtle's voice. Oh, oh, really? Oh, raspy. raspy. Okay. okay. Tippy the Turtle, you guys, I'm going to have videos. It's You've got to wait for it. You've got to attend. I'm just going to pop them up. Megan's not going to know. Okay, so reframing process. I like to recommend a three-step process. The first step you really only need to do once, and that is take some time and, to Megan's point, write this down. Write down all the time something bad happened to you that actually ended up really working out for you. Because the best way you can get into the mindset of doing a reframe is to understand how often something that seems bad in the beginning is actually really good for you. You probably only have to do that step once. Then the second step is when something happens, I'll actually use my travel example. I had something go wrong, 
so to speak. I had to take my travel on a different day, move my flight. Most people would say, oh gosh, you know, that's such a pain. I'm telling myself, you know what, I'm going to find out later how this is working for me. And probably because of the time of day I then had to travel, all those cool things started happening. And if you can't get to that place with the reframe, you call your mindset buddy, whoever that is, Megan, I would be calling you. And sometimes they're more objective so they can tell you. And then the last step of the process is if you can get yourself to feeling good about it, awesome. If you can't get yourself to feeling good about it, ignore it. Focus on something else and try and redirect your energy. So, Megan, you've gotten awesome at reframe. So, I'd love to hear one from you, something that you've reframed recently. So, so I love all those, all those tips. tips. Like, I, I just like hearing you say it again. again. Um, um, for, for me, me it, it comes, comes up, up in business, business all the time. time. And so, so whether, whether it's, it's from, from COVID, COVID or, or currently, right, right now, now, we are. We are working to grow to be toes. toes. And, in and in order, in order to, to do that, that there, has there has been, been a, lot a lot of questions, questions from me. Like, what am I, like, a lot, lot of things, things to figure, figure out. out. And, and in a in way, way, sometimes, sometimes you feel like I don't have the have answers. answers. I'm, I'm, but what's, what's actually, actually happening, happening is, is I am learning a ton. ton. I am, I am I'm becoming stronger, stronger in business. I'm becoming a stronger leader because I am having conversations. I am experiencing, I am reading. And so I am really priming myself to level up. While, While I, I, what, what someone, someone could say, say is like, like you know, you're, you're, you're in a, in a difficult, difficult time, time, you're trying, trying to figure this out, you have a lot of decisions, decisions. There's, there's some, some, some lack, lack of clarity. clarity. Right. And, and what, what I, I feel, feel is, is I am, I am learning, learning, I am figuring, figuring this out, I am going to make good decisions because of the work I'm doing now. And that's empowering. So I go from feeling powerless to empowered because of that scenario. Um, um, and, it and it happens over, over and over in business. In business. You, know, you know, it's really, really all about how you, how frame, you it. frame it. Well, and the interesting thing is once you get there, once you reframe it to the point that you feel good about it, and the feel good about it part is important because if it's irritating you and it's just making you mad, again, that's when you <laughs> ignore it. But when you get to that more powerful place, you are priming yourself. We talked about this last week. You get what you focus on, the Bader-Meinhof principle, that you're going to start seeing opportunities that you wouldn't see otherwise. And again, sometimes it just helps to go back and say, okay, when have I felt like this before? And probably when you were on Shark Tank, right? You probably felt like, man, I'm out of my depth. I don't know. But when you were prepping to go, I don't know what we're going to do. There's a lot of research and stuff I need to do. Look how that turned out. I mean, the sharks wanted you. And you were so powerful in your business, you were like, okay, this is great that we have a deal. And then in the negotiation process, you're like, you know what? I think we can do this better ourselves. Mm -hmm. How powerful is that? Yeah. yeah. And, you're, and you're, you're, you're exactly right. right. And, and I think, I think about, about that really, really like, like when, like you, when go you go and work with companies, companies with driven, with driven outcomes, outcomes, you go in as the as expert. expert. And, and I, feel I feel like one of the, the biggest, biggest things that you did for us at Tippy Toes was reframe so many things. And I went from feeling challenges and feeling whether it's lost whether it's or, frustrated, or frustrated, like all those like things all those that things are, natural, are natural to feeling really, really powerful, powerful and excited and ready, and ready to, to go. go. Because here's, here's the, deal. the deal. The next the day next comes. comes. It's all about how, how you're going to move, move through that day. day. So, so whether, whether you're, you're going to be grumpy, grumpy upset, and looking like negative, negative, or you're going to feel powerful, powerful and understand that everything is working for you, it's your experience that becomes a lot better if you're able to reframe it and see how the situation is working for you. It's, it's, it, changes it changes every, every minute, minute of your day, day if, you're if you're able, able to, to look, look at, at a situation, situation and see how it's working, working for you. And that, and was, that something was something that you talked talk, talk to me about as you as worked you work with our with company, company, and it helps tremendously. tremendously. I love it. I see Scott McGregor saying we are two of his favorite humans. And I got to tell you, he's somebody <laughs> with a fantastic mindset, too. Scott, thanks for watching. It's funny because you have a different experience of life once you start to use these tools and you start to have a better mindset. And it's really, it, you said it the best way, Megan, You're, you feel empowered, you feel like you can handle it. So I really encourage everybody, use that three-step process. I want to hear from you. Put things in the comments you want us to reframe. You can uh, DM us. Megan doesn't look at her DMs, but you can, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll message you back. <laughs> You could let us know uh, what you're working on. We really want to hear. And we're, we're keeping true to this 10 minutes. Believe it or not, we've already done it. Megan, your voice is stronger than when we started. Coincidence? I don't no, know. No, no. It's, it's just, just power. power. I'm just, just feeling great. great. Feeling, feeling amazing. amazing. <laughs>